Man, there's so much going on today. I'm so excited. I'm pumped. All right. Nick Diaz suspension. Nevada Commission realized that when overboard, they're in talks with his lawyers right now to have the suspension reduced. And he could be back in the ring by summer of 2016. That's what I'm talking about. And, and this is something I've been saying for a long time. The Nevada Commission, they're out of control. From that first time when John Jones and Daniel Cormier got in a scuffle and they wanted to take the entire purse of John Jones and Daniel Cormier. They wanted to take all the earnings as punishment and then try to give them a suspension after the fight. I knew they was out of control. And you know what's going to happen now? Nevada Commission, they're going to realize that, hey, listen, fighters and promoters, they don't have to come to, 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 to Nevada to put on fights. They don't have to do that. That's a big tourist attraction. They're going to take it to Florida. They got, they, 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 there's so many other states that would love them. They could even take it to Louisiana and still do good. So that's a big tourist attraction for them. So they can't mess around. So I'm glad the Nevada Commission has came to the senses. Nick Diaz tweeted recently that uh, in October, he tweeted that they're, they're working out an agreement. So I'm, I'm going to keep following him on Twitter. And hopefully if he tweets something else, then we'll know what's going on. But for right now, all things being equal, it looks like he's going to be coming back to the ring in midsummer. Now, when he comes back, the fight that I really want to see is Nick Diaz versus Chris Weidman. Now, the reason why I say I want to see that is because he handled himself pretty good with Anderson Silver the last time. Even though he lost, he still handled himself pretty good. Still kept Anderson from cutting off the ring. Still kept Anderson from putting him down. He did a stellar performance. And to think about it, that was when he was high. So imagine if he was sober. So I, I, I want to see him do that. And besides, that would shut him up because he said he's the best fighter. Nobody want to give him a shot. That would really give him an opportunity to let his mouth shut up. You know what I mean? So, and, but then again, if he wins, Dana White might like that because he's, 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 a, he's a, a, a real straight shooter. He's not marketable and sweet and cuddly like Chris Weidman. So I got to think of what's more carefully. But I'd have loved to see that fight. I'm glad your suspension is over. We'll be over it. Yes, I'm glad the Nevada Commission came to the senses. And I'm hoping as time go on, they continue to get more realistic about these suspensions. You know, because marijuana versus coke, why, you know, the, the John Jones suspension was very light. Right? And he was on cocaine. So come on. I'm, I'm very happy to get him more realistic. And in time, if Nevada Commission doesn't get together. Promoters and sporting event holders, they're going to start going to other places. So good for you, Nick. Good for you.